here we are at Rodman Campground for three nights. Let's check this park out. It's September 25th and this is probably the first break in the heat we have had um, since summer started. It's turned out to be a very nice weekend. We are looking at the Cross Florida Barge Canal. It was meant to connect the Atlantic to the Gulf to save travel time for shipping. The idea was first proposed in 1567 and then again in 1818, but in 1933, Roosevelt authorized $5 million in funding and the entire project was estimated at $143 million, and that was in 1933. So after 5,000 acres had been cleared, four bridges constructed, and 13 million cubic yards excavated, they ran out of money and construction stopped. What a debacle. We're, we're in campsite 68. Our dogs see a squirrel. Pretty nice little campsite. This is a beautiful old oak tree right at the back side of our campsite. We have a very shady site. This is the berm that was constructed when they dug out the canal. It's on both sides of the canal. We don't have any neighbors to one side of us and there's a little path right there that we've been taking the dogs on walks right through there it's been very nice it's a beautiful morning saturday morning that bluebell those the camp poets remember those that couple yeah they were really nice you liked them didn't you I did. Here are the sites one through 39. You see there's no one there. There's an electric box, so they do have electricity. I don't know if this is tent camping only or what, but these are nice sites. This is the boat ramp. It's at the end of sites uh, one through 38. It's a separate loop from where we are. So um, we're on loop, I guess, 39 through 68. This is one through 38. There is no one over here on this whole side. Why is Lily on the table? <laughs> Lily, why are you on the table? Mm, your pretty little face. Well, maybe the rain will pass by. The sun is shining through the trees. Well, we felt a few sprinkles. It hasn't rained on us all weekend, so hopefully it's not going to rain tonight. A nice little fire. Sweetheart.
So Fred was out here fishing and he put his pole in the water and no sooner had his little frog hit the water than a big bass jumped on it. But um, unfortunately Fred made a little bird's nest in his reel so the fish was not landed and he has a little entanglement to deal with. The neighbor camper came running over when Fred got a hit. <laughs> Said he'd been fishing and hadn't even got a nibble. Fred must have the right bait. So he got it untangled and he's going to try it again. We have high hopes for him. There's our little campsite. In this canal, it's kind of odd how the vegetation sits on top and just floats by. It's like, I wonder where it all ends up. It's not fixed to the ground whatsoever. It's just floating on the top. That was about where I had that bass. That was something else. <laughs> that was funny. That would have been great had you reeled that fish in. That was the first time I got a hook up on this, this, this lure. And on the very first cast. I've said it before on previous videos, but this little ice maker, it is fantastic. I just made myself a Coke and emptied it out, but to always have ice like this at a campsite is such a, a, a small little luxury. It's really nice. Very nice to have. Oh, what a great night it is. I'm being a little lazy and we are having hot dogs for dinner. I actually had a bowl of cereal. Fred's having a hot dog and the dogs are having a hot dog and a half a piece. So that's for dinner. There's my cereal bowl, it was delicious. I had wheat checks with blueberries and bananas. And then right over here, Fred is fishing still. And then over here, we have our little campfire there behind the cooler. So it's a great Saturday night. We're really enjoying this little campground. Fred, Fred took Lily for a little walk. She's so funny. When she gets tired, she just lays in front of her bowl and drinks the water. It's hysterical. She's too tired to even stand up and drink it. Bless her little heart. Is that water good, Lily? <laughs> Two sweet little girls, Lucy and Lily. They're our little babies. There, there it is. The neighbors. Gave us some Puerto Rican beer. Fred's about to have one. It's quite good. It's good. Wait, let me see the brand of it. Medalla, Medalla, Medalla. And it's pretty good? Yep. <laughs> we have pumpkin rolls and bacon. 
for breakfast this morning. The pumpkin rolls are quite delicious. Fred's going to get us an extra bottle of water and we're going to take a little walk this morning with the dogs. We hear that it's two miles to a bridge. So that would be four miles round trip. We'll see if we can do that. So the park ranger told us that it was two miles to the bridge and Fred and I were just talking. We bet that it's going to be just like this the whole way to the bridge as we walk along this canal. And what'd you say, Fred, about you thought it was the prettiest? Yes, prettiest trail we've been on in any state park thus far. I think so too. It's very nice. The trail is wide. You don't have to worry about your dogs getting in brush, getting ticks on them. It's not growing up with weeds. It's a very nice walk. I mentioned a few minutes ago that um, this vegetation on this canal just flows with the water and isn't doesn't seem like it's fixed and what did you say they are water hyacinths, hyacinths which are free, free floating plants not attached to the bottom and i'm not sure if they are specific to this to florida or not that is were they imported in here or got in here some way and just spread. But they really clog up the uh, the waterways. I bet they do. And like, I, I want to know when the canal, it reaches its end, what happens to all these things? And where do they all come from? L lily pads are attached to the bottom, whereas these plants are free floating and just uh, move with the current, you might say. what you call hogging the water bowl. All right, she's ready to go. We're on the Florida Trail. So we didn't realize that until we saw that orange blaze. Very cool. I have no idea where that started. We're gonna have to figure that out later. All of a sudden, it's just the orange blaze appeared. And right here is the bridge. Well, we have another orange blaze and we made it to the bridge. What a beautiful picture that is. Florida trail sign. Now, I believe that if we keep going probably another three miles or two miles, we get to the, the lock or the dam, which uh, I don't think we're gonna do that today. Yeah, we're going to drive. We're going to drive it up there and check it out. Are you ready to reverse course? Yes. Okay, girls, let's, we're going to take it back slowly. Come on. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with the Florida Trail and where it, did it intersect us somewhere and we just didn't see it? Because I don't believe it ran through the state park that we are staying at. We found where the Florida Trail intersects uh, this, uh, the, the canal trail right here. You see the double blaze? That means that the trail goes off to the left. And as we were coming um, towards the bridge, of course we didn't see the blaze because it was on the wrong side of the tree. But the trail should go off this direction. Oh yeah, you can see the sign with the arrow pointing to the left here. Is that it? It must be up here somewhere. 
it doesn't really oh i see a couple of orange blazes up there on a very small tree so that's it that's what it does. yep it looks like it's pretty well marked it would be awesome to be hiking the florida trail in its entirety or at least a much larger segment than what we're doing here today So Fred went inside to take a nap, but just to show you a couple things that I'm working on as I sit here, I am crocheting a blanket and I actually have the rest of it at home. I'm almost ready to put the border around the whole thing. So this is the first blanket I've ever made. My, both of my grandmothers um, crocheted. My mother did it, my mother quilted, but uh, um, I, I love it. I'm having so much fun doing it. This is quite a large um, afghan that I'm making, and um, I've really enjoyed it. I can't wait to start another one when this one's finished. And then also I'm reading a book, um, Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. It's um, a little tough to get through. Um, I just finished um, Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and Emily Bronte and now I'm reading um, this one so I'm trying to read I don't know uh, famous literature of the 19th and then this would be the 20th century I think I'm liking the 19th century literature better or maybe I just like female authors better I'm not sure this by John Steinbeck. Like I said, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting into it. Um, not very far along right now, but I don't know. Maybe things will turn around for me and I will uh, grow a little bit more attached to the characters that are in the book. I hope so. So I have those two things, the book and the Afghan. And then also I have um, an electric bike. This is a, a new electric bike that I got a couple of months ago. Um, it is an absolute blast to ride. It's basically an electric motorcycle. It has a throttle on it. it has quite a lot of power. Um, the tires are four inch wide tires. I love it. It is so much fun. No crashes, no crashes yet, fingers crossed. I, I'm very careful on it. I don't go fast at all, but it, it's a lot of fun. Fred loves it too. So it's Saturday night. Fred has a nice little fire going for us. So I'm riding my bike to the restroom and I come across this little snake. I'm not sure what kind it is, but it looks poisonous to me. It, and I actually see its little tail flicking. I'm wondering if that's not a little baby rattlesnake. You can see its little tail there. A few seconds ago, I saw it flicking. It looks almost like little rattlers at the end of it. And I was wondering why I couldn't see its head, but actually its head is looking at me. And as I just moved my bike tire a little bit closer, its tail started flicking again. There was a deer in the road on my way back from the restroom. There's two of them. So people are fishing along the shoreline here. Yesterday, there were quite a few people fishing. Can we get out and look? Kirkpatrick Dam Road.
having a picnic. So we found another section of the Florida Trail. Uh, we drove half a mile down this kind of a dirt road and we got to the end and there's another orange blaze. There is some kind of a smaller dam right over here. And then look, as you walk up here, there's more of the Florida Trail. Can you see the orange blaze on the end of that post? And then the Florida Trail signage. Oh, how I wish I was on a great big long hike. And I could experience this trail from end to end. What is making all that noise in the water? There is something down there. Sounds like something very large splashing around. Maybe it's just waves, but I don't understand what could be causing the waves. That's very odd. And no way am I walking down there any further. Just as I turned to, to leave, I heard a big alligator roar. So what in the world is this alligator doing down there? So we're going across the bridge that we hiked to earlier today. And this is the canal. Wow. Look at this side. Coming back, you can get this other side. This is Rodman Plantation. Magnolias. Now, from what I recall, I did see this on the internet, and they're only open a few days out of the week, and you can actually call and reserve tours. They don't look like they're open today. Old house, isn't it? Sure is. Uh 
honey, we're home. <laughs> What's in the back there? Is it, uh... Looks like maybe some kind of event. That's like right. I, they have weddings here, I think. Do you want to get walk around it? Sure. It says 1951 from that planter. Gorgeous piece of property. Wouldn't it be great to live here? Oh yeah, so here was a wedding, September 25th. Kind of hard to see in there. A lot of wood. Wood floors. It smells like an old house, which is not a bad thing. It just has a very distinctive smell, even up here on the porch. It's very pretty. I really like it. Look at this beautiful oak tree right off the front steps. That is an old tree. It's gorgeous. So now we're on the bridge going the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm gonna try to ride my electric bike and do this GoPro at the same time without wrecking. So we'll see. Give you a little tour of the campground. Okay, so we're starting off from my campsite, which is right by the canal. We're just gonna do this loop. Here are the restroom and showers. It's Sunday morning and a lot of people are starting to pull out. So now we're going back around to the road where we are camping. Which is the nicest road in the campground. And probably the best spot in the campground is coming up here on the left. It's campsite number 59. right there you see it's right across from the canal and it's on the end that's campsite 59 you can see across is the canal 
and then the second best campsite would be ours, which is on the other end of this road, which is campsite 68. A lot of people out this morning. Then here's our campsite on the other end.